Racking up calories, red cone hands on my list. G dub on a track, better brace for the fist. Things are crazy right now in the AI world. It seems like every day there's a cool new AI tool available. It might get hard to keep up with it all, but that's why I'm here at G tier to bring you the latest and greatest, the God tier. Today, we're talking about Hedra AI, an AI tool that can make any photo come to life by having it speak or sing in a realistic way. And you know what's awesome? It's free right now. But who knows for how long? So get in here and give it a try. As of the time of this recording, there is no charge to use it. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's start with some humans being brought to life with a simple photo. Welcome to the future, where you can create whoever you can imagine. Make any photo say anything. What could possibly go wrong? Who am I? What is real? What is life? The only thing you know is that you know nothing. So, how'd you like it? I created that one myself in about one minute. Here's another human example. Introducing Hedra's foundation model preview, where infinite video length meets amazing speed. I was created by typing an influencer in her bedroom nature. After this is all done, I'm going to Starbucks to get a pumpkin spice latte. You in? Like, oh my God, y'all. Even the most basic features of Hedra are amazing. It's just so realistic. I can just imagine her IRL wearing Lululemon and eating avocado toast, can't you? Jokes aside, let's take a look at another human example. This next one I found on Hedra's Instagram profile. Creators be like, I'm not just hungry for engagement, I'm starving. Retweet this before I start chewing on my follower count. Pretty cool, right? Okay, some of you might be thinking, it's not perfect, and I hear you, it's a tad blurry at moments, but keep in mind, this is the worst it will ever be. They will only improve upon this in the future. Can you imagine the implications of making any photo say anything? It's crazy to think about. I mean, the legal ramifications alone is enough to make your mind boggle. Let me know in the comments what you think so far. And check out the link in the description to Hedra's Instagram. And you don't have to use a photo. Hedra AI can animate fictional human images. Check out this example from Hedra's Twitter or X account from an ultra-talented user named Brett Bodden, who submitted one of his steampunk images. Again, links in description. In a world of gears and steam, lived a woman with a dream. Goggles perched upon her brow, crafting wonders here and now. Clockwork wings and brass attire, her inventions sparked with fire. In the smoky, misty air, she spun magic, rare and fair. And that's not all Hedra can do. It can animate paintings as well. Check this one out. Welcome to a free test of the Hedra Alpha. I was created by inputting watercolor painting, staring at camera. What do you think? Am I cool or what? Check me out in on Hedra's Community Spotlight. And your images don't have to just talk, they can sing too. And you remember George Washington rapping about G-dubs at the beginning of this video. That's our boy right there. Well, here's the full version of him rapping it out. I love it, that's so awesome. And that's not all, Hedra can also animate non-human characters. I have here a sneaker that's tattered and worn. It's all full of holes and the laces are torn. A gift from my mother the day I was born. I love it because it's trash. And here's another non-human example. Did you know potatoes 
are a vegetable that traces its roots back to Peru? The Inca natives were the first to grow the crop. And despite its appearance, potatoes are made up of 80% water and are only 20% solid. And though it's not exactly Hedra's strong suit right now, it can also animate animals. Ah! Why isn't my carrot cake perfect yet? I asked for sprinkles and glitter! Oof, I want my fluffy pillow and my shiny tiara, like, right now! And where's my rainbow milkshake? This is so not fair! I'm telling Mommy Bunny about this! You'll see! Oof. All right, so let's begin with the tutorial. Hedra AI was just announced this week, and a lot of people are trying this out right now. If you would like to give it a try, there will be a link in the description below. It's pretty straightforward to use. All you have to do to begin is click on Try Beta. Once you sign up for an account, you can begin using all that it has to offer for free. You can either upload your own audio file, or you can generate an audio file using text to speech. So for example, let's write, let me know what you think in the comments and be sure to share your creations online. And then down here, we can select a voice. Let's listen to them all. Here's Emily. Never mistake motion for action. The greatest gospel concert the world has ever witnessed is coming to Rochester. Failure doesn't mean you are a failure. It just means you haven't succeeded yet. It is not so important to know everything as to appreciate what we learn. If one is lucky, a solitary fantasy can totally transform one million realities. Alrighty, let's go with Rachel's voice. The next step is to either generate a photo through Hedra AI or upload your own photo. I'm going to go ahead and upload my own photo here. And that's pretty much it. We can go ahead and click Generate, and it will take a bit to produce the finished product. And here's the moment of truth. Let's check out the final result. Let me know what you think in the comments, and be sure to share your creations online. All right, I think that was pretty darn good. There's some moments of blurriness, but I really think this is one of the most real-looking face animator out there right now. The head movements look natural for the most part, and the lip sync is pretty much spot on. I really like it. Now, to download it, all you have to do is click on the download button here. Before we go on though, there's some other face animators I want you guys to check out when you get a chance. I really think these are the god tier along with Hedra. The first one is called Emo. I'll leave a link in the description. Look at this example using a picture of Audrey Hepburn. Now, unfortunately, this is not available yet, but it's definitely something to look forward to. The second face animator I want you guys to check out is Microsoft's Vasa One. And the thing that sets this one apart from the rest is that you can use audio and video in real time. There's also a multitude of other settings you can modify as you go. Check this out. We introduce Vasa, a framework for generating lifelike talking faces with appealing visual effective skills, given a single static image and a speech audio clip. Our model is capable of not only producing lip movements that are exquisitely synchronized with the audio, but also capturing a large spectrum of facial nuances and natural head motions that contribute to the perception of authenticity and liveliness. The core innovations include a holistic facial dynamics and head movement generation model that works in a face latent space, and the development of such an expressive and disentangled face latent space using videos. Isn't that freaking unbelievable? Pretty soon we'll be able to take just one photo of anybody and make them say anything in real time. It's absolutely insane. Okay, I'll chill out now. Let's get back to Hedra. Fortunately, right now, we do not have to wait for either Emo or Vasa One. You and I can go ahead and face Animate today with no waiting. Let's try another example using Hedra. This time, let's upload an audio file and generate an image through Hedra and see what we come up with. Sounds good? Let's do it. First, we'll upload our audio file. Let's play it first before moving on. 
Oh, that's so clever. I've never heard a hero say that one before. How long did it take you to come up with that? How'd you like that example voice? I was going for a femme fatale villain. In fact, let's go ahead and put that next in the character description. I'll type, a seductive and dangerous femme fatale with the sexy allure of a villain. Now let's see what it comes up with. Okay, not bad. Now let's click generate video and check out the final result. Oh, that's so clever. I've never heard a hero say that one before. How long did it take you to come up with that? I have to admit, I really liked this one. It reminded me of that movie Snow White and the Huntsman. Now let's try an anime style villain and see how it does. Oh, that's so clever. I've never heard a hero say that one before. How long did it take you to come up with that? Hum, huh, okay, not bad. I liked it. But is it doing some kind of ventriloquism or something there? I think Hedra does a little bit of a better job with realistic photos than anime or non-human characters. Overall though, I think it's pretty awesome though. Let's see how it does with a painting. Oh, that's so clever. I've never heard a hero say that one before. How long did it take you to come up with that? Alrighty then, I'm not gonna lie. That turned out a little awkward. Hedra can be hit or miss sometimes. This time we will do a 3D Disney style animated. Oh, that's so clever. I've never heard a hero say that one before. How long did it take you to come up with that? Like I said, it can be hit or miss. Here's another animated example that I think is excellent. Please, adventurer, anything to stop the endless chorus of Baby Shark coming from the witch's hut. For laughter, coughing, and other non-talking sounds, Hedra could use some improvement. For normal, realistic-looking portraits with talking or singing audio, however, it generates those pretty much perfectly. Keep in mind, I'm really kind of testing the limits here for what Hedra can do. Overall, though, if you just want to get a portrait to say something, it works almost flawlessly. There are really endless creative possibilities here. It looks like, as of the time of this recording, the Hedra model has a max resolution of 512 by 512, but they are planning a 720 model for the future. The duration is limited to 30 seconds, and you can currently make unlimited videos. So, like I said before, get in there, people, and take advantage of everything Hedra has to offer. And with that, we come to the end of our Hedra summary and tutorial. Let us know what you think, and if you create something cool, be sure to share it here or on Hedra's social media channels. Thanks for tuning in, and stay tuned for more God-tier emerging tech. Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay awesome. Until next time.